Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to give you an introduction to the history brush and other history settings in Photoshop. So to get things started, go up to edit and click on preferences and then performance. And then history here is how many history states it's going to remember. So right now I have it at 99. That's sort of a happy medium. If your computer is going slow, you can bring that down to 20 or 50 or something. Or if you have tons of speed, you can bring that all the way up to 1000 if you think you need that much history. And you might have to restart Photoshop to make that take effect. And then the other thing is the history tab over here. If that's not showing, go up to window and click on history. And so the way that history works is whenever you do something in Photoshop, it adds it to the history. So right now I've used the brush two times. Every time you click, if I do three clicks, it gets added to the history. And so I'll just create a few different brush things here just to show you what it does. And now when you use the history brush tool, which is over here, or you can press Y and you paint with that, then it erases everything you've done all the way back in history where you have this little icon here setting. So right now it's on a setting of right where we started. However, if I move this little history icon up to in the middle of here somewhere, then it's only going to undo everything up until this time. So now you can see it's just going to undo the blue, but it's going to leave the pink intact because that's up here behind the history where we're going back until. So that can be handy if you have done some edits back here that you don't want to undo, but you want to undo the most recent 20 edits, for example. Another handy thing with the history brush tool that is not so often used is this little take a picture button. And that sort of saves how this image looks right now. So a screenshot or a picture is taken right when you start all the time. And if you click on that, you can see it also erases all your history. When I brush again, it erases all my history. So be careful about that. But that's good if you want to test out a few different ways uh, you want a picture to look. If I create another snapshot now, now I have three snapshots and I can flip between these even though the history is gone. I can go to any of these snapshots and start editing from them and start over if I want. And that also keeps your layers intact. If I create a few levels and curves and go to my history and create another snapshot, you can see if I go back here, takes away my layers and if I go back to my layers snapshot you can see they all are all kept intact. That should be enough to get you started. If you like this tutorial make sure you subscribe and click that little like button and to download this tutorial in HD format or check out more tutorials head over to tutorvid.com. <laughs>